I made a video a few months ago about a team called UCD from Dublin who are essentially a football team in the top tier of Ireland's football league system who are a university team so all of their players with the exception of maybe one or two loans that they get every couple of years are players who have scholarships at the university and I find it amazing how I've still not covered either of the two university teams in Scotland yes hello I'm back in Scotland everybody after my week or so long trip to Belgium the Netherlands and Germany I still have a few videos to upload from that time so um, yeah I think this one will be out before one or two of them um, so I still got a couple more to come but I'm back in Scotland and today I'm seeing one of the university teams play. It's a little bit different to the Dublin University team UCD. They play in the Premier Division and they're a bit of a yo-yo team. They go up and down between like the second tier and the top tier um, but the two university teams or two sort of highest ranked university teams in Scotland play in the Lowland League which is the fifth tier and I always seem um, I always feel a bit um, suspicious I don't know walking around a campus that I'm not a student at just filming and stuff but it's a Sunday morning so it's quiet here as you can imagine um, I guess all the all the students are out last night absolute lads and lasses um, Saturday night but yeah look at this this is the Sunday morning here at Stirling University And who recognises that building through there? That is the Wallace Monument. And remember I started my Sterling Albion v, who did they play? Fourth video there last season. That monument is on the Sterling Albion badge. And University of Sterling actually play their home games at the home of Sterling Albion as well, the fourth bank stadium. So we'll be going down there very, very shortly to see them play Caledonian Braves today in the Lowland League. Two teams I don't think I've ever seen play before. I have done a Caledonian Braves video before, but I've never seen them play. And today I'm being, uh, I'm doing a collaboration with the guys of Location Football. Um, cannot wait to see them again. I met them at the Football Content Awards over a year ago now down in London. We've been talking about collabing for so long. Um, we're both very busy, or all three of us are very busy. Scott and Curly, who run that channel, and myself, obviously, just constantly making videos. Curly's on Soccer AM. Um, Scott's got his own production company where he works with Tubes and Ange Golf Life. Um, so yeah, they're both really busy, as am I. But finally, today we'll be, um, we'll be collaborating. So um, do go and check their channel out. We'll be talking about, uh, talking to them a little bit later on. So I'll include all their links below. But yes, that out there is the Wallace Monument. One of the most amazing, I'd say, tourist attractions in the whole of Scotland, actually. So yeah, I do like coming to Stirling. It's a beautiful place and it's nice to be back in Scotland finally. So I'll see you down at Fourth Bank in just a second. So I'm back inside Fourth Bank. Here we go, look, Stirling Albion Stadium. This is where all the little mental uh, Stirling Albion fans were um, going crazy at that game uh, with their drum and all that. Um, but look, here they are. I've already introduced you lads, but just for everybody watching who may not have seen you before, let them know where they can find you. Right, well, I'm Curly and this is Scott and right. we are Location Football, a non-league based YouTube channel that we set up about, what, 18 months ago, was it? Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. And we travel around the country, basically making videos about non-league clubs in a, what we like to think as an entertaining sort of we put our soccer AM spin on it because I've been at soccer AM for 15 years Lavers was there for like seven so we try and make as entertaining videos as we can yep. around non-league football and then we come up, come up to Scotland to meet the main man himself nice mate it's your first <laughs> game up in Scotland today as well how have you found the journey up how have you found the people the food as well e easier than some trips we've been to in England to yeah really? we've done like yeah. five hour trips in a car but yeah yeah, yeah 45 we'll minute flight Half hour train. Half hour train, walked from the train station yeah. to this beautiful Sterling Albion uh, Stadium. But yeah, yeah we've, we went to South Shields to see Kevin Phillips recently and that took 
five hours. We did that yeah. in a day as well. So five hours there, five hours back. Uh, it was quite a journey, but um, yeah, first game, really looking forward to it. Heard a lot about the University of Stirling. Just had a chat with some of the lads. They're a great bunch of people and uh, told us where to go on a night out. Nice. Um, so unfortunately, we're going home today, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and you're having a kick about today as well. Oh God, I know. I was about to say about that. I know yeah. I'm about to embarrass myself yeah. on your channel yeah. as well, so. We want to see if Sam, who talks a good game, can actually play a good game. So that's going to be coming out on our channel. Definitely uh, not. Really looking forward to it. Um, this man is a legend and the graph okay. that he puts in, is incredible. Um, we were lucky enough to, we were at the Football Awards together, yeah, weren't yeah, about we? about a year ago now. About a year ago, yeah. and I think then you were about 30,000 subscribers like and that, yeah, and yeah. in a year yeah. you've jumped to that, so more credit to you, my Legend friend. Man. And you lads brilliant. as well, you're doing great stuff too. Uh, we're, so. we're trying, we're trying. We're on that grind of, you know what it's like, you're slowly building it and every little subscriber counts. So if anyone watching this doesn't yeah. want to subscribe, please do. Yeah, it'll be linked um, in the description box. And you also work you. with Tubes and Ands, right? I do, on yeah. The golf so channel. I, I, yeah, my other YouTube channel is <laughs> Tubes and Ands Golf Live, where I film them playing golf with footballers, rugby players, darts players. Nice. Whoever fancies coming on playing a bit of golf. So, cool. yeah. Subscribe to that as well. If we plug in, <laughs> subscribe to everything. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe to everyone. Like, yeah. share, do all that stuff. I'm Chris Geddes, head coach at the University of Stirling. Hey, I'm Sean Roycroft, his assistant at the University of Stirling. Amazing, and so we've just been talking off camera a little bit there about the football team and your involvement in the Lowland League. Could you just explain how you pick up players and are they all students at the University as well? We don't need all students, um, but we have all students. So when I first signed for the University, I've never been a Stirling Uni student. I just played weekend football. Um, recruitment, different ways, go watch players, players get in touch with us, um, some players you have to speak to them for over a year, Zoom calls, meeting the parents etc, other people, a player today for instance got in touch five weeks before pre-season, I'm coming to the uni and he comes so yeah that's how that's how it kind of works Sam, so it's, it's mixed, it's phone calls, Zooms, go watch players, play against them um, and obviously another one is players getting in touch with us. And so how about you both like your football journey to being coaches here today, have you played in Scotland and coached at other teams as well? Yeah, so um, kind of played played here a long, long time ago it feels like, <laughs> um, about 15 years ago played at Star and Albion, so um, that 20, was my 20. 20 years ago. Wow. Professional for you, but we were here when we were 13, yeah, youth right teams the yep. first, the first. 19s. And then Sean played, I never actually made an appearance, Sean played quite a lot six, for them, six, got six, to the championship in that. Yeah. Um, and I've only coached at the uni, I've been here 12 years now, and obviously Sean, he's, he'll tell you he's, he's coached a few different teams. So. Yeah, nice. just through the different levels. Cool, Good and experience. and so what um, kind of crowds do you usually get at the games, and do you have any messages for people who might want to come and watch a game well, at this level? Yeah, listen, it varies, do you know what I mean? It's, it's getting, to be honest, it's got better the last few years. We get quite, uh, we get neutrals, we get Stalin Albion fans who maybe don't travel away to to Stalin Albion away games. Yeah. Um, so now it's quite good. We listen. It could be anything between seventy and one hundred and fifty. And if you play one of the bigger teams, that's always good because they bring their fans and stuff like that. But obviously, it's difficult for us because a lot of teams might have friends, family, etc. Our players don't really have that because some of them are from England, uh, Ireland, stuff like that. So um, whenever there's a big crowd, that's good. But listen, just yeah, for anyone that might be interested, you never know. You might like it. So good, yeah. It's a good league. Rowan League is, is getting better and better, I think. So, um, yeah, definitely. We'll look at the teams that are in it. It's really strong. Yeah, so how interesting was that just to hear about Sterling Uni there and like how they pick up players and stuff? Look, I don't think I've ever been on the pitch before like this, but look, here we are. I'm a bit too short to show you just now, but the um, the Wallace Monument is through there, as I'd have shown you a few times before, which is on the Sterling Albion badge. But yeah, look, here we are on the pitch. It's a lovely ground, this. It's not owned by Sterling Albion. It's not owned by the uni. I think the council own it, and they both um, sort of rent it out to use it, I'm pretty sure. And here is the main man, Sam North, AKA Footy Adventures. Mate, thank you so much for coming on our channel. You talk a good game, it's my pleasure. You talk a good game, but can you play it? <laughs> when was the last That's time you kicked the camera. ball? Oh, months ago. Well, just a little warm up right. a few seconds ago, but before that, months ago. Okay, right. Challenge one, we are going to test his touch. 
Sam's got three balls to control inside this D and at the end we will be giving him a rating out of 10. And let us know in the comment section what you would give Sam out of 10 for his skills. Right, you ready? Yep. That's your first touch. Let's see. Let's find out. That's all right, we'll take that, we'll take that. Yeah, brilliant, perfect. Solid 8 out of 10 for sure. Right, you'd have just seen my first challenge, the touch. We've got nothing but net now, right? Here we go. You're gonna have to check the lads' channel out for the proper challenges, but here we go. Easy, Easy flip. Easy stuff. Oh. We've just done the challenges yeah. for your channel. How do you think we've got on? I think you've done well. Thanks, Considering thanks. before you were going, oh, I haven't played in ages, I haven't done this, I haven't done that. Last time I kicked the ball was literally four minutes ago. Did really well. You've got to set it up though, haven't you? You've got you to have. set the bar low. Set it low, then, yeah. then aim high. No, you were really good. You were really good. Cheers, mate. Um, and so for anyone watching, go and check it out on your channel. Yeah, go and check it out. Location Football. As soon as you type it into uh, YouTube, it should come up. We've got plenty of content on there. So if non-league football uh, is your thing, go check it out. It's class. And see what I got out of 40. Yeah, see what we got out of 40. I won't give it away, but I don't know. People might recognise you from a video we did over a year ago now, I think I came was, and yeah. uh, filmed the Cali Braves video. Yeah. Um, but just explain how the team's been getting on this season. Uh, well, the team at that particular point was pretty much brand new. Um, we've kept the majority of the squad. We've placed maybe four or five of them. Need to always add that little bit of freshness as well. So um, we've done that, I think, from, uh, from the start of the season last season to maybe about January, we were kind of on and off new team etc but from January we've done very very well I think we, well, we did we got beat one time in the league a um, couple of cups as well we, we lost in but within the league only got uh, one defeat from January so aye we're getting there we're, 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 we're slowly building um, you know we, we don't fling crazy money at it we want to do it kind of more sustainably um, but we've got a fantastic group we, we're all about the environment we're all about trying to make sure the boys are enjoying themselves when they come in and that hopefully transfers that into the, the match day Brilliant and is there any um, players that have really stood out this season you're the manager you want to say all of them yeah. I imagine but is there anyone we're looking out for today that I, I mean difference? guys like I mean if you look at Zach Butterworth so I had Zach when I was Rangers under 15 16 coach you know and Zach and Jamie Walker for example and obviously I think they went full time at Rangers and Jamie went to St Martin and I look at them and they took that that kind of maybe negative hit at that point coming out of the full time game yeah. leaving you know a big club like Rangers and I've just been so impressed with their attitudes you know but I could speak about other ones Cammy Brennan are the same at St Martin Cole Stars you know who's been, who's been injured lately but fantastic attitude and for me again it's just to do with the environment we've got and uh, like, I'm so happy that they've kind of embraced that but I wouldn't say there's any one player but those two kind of stand out for me just because where they are at now and I feel that they've got they've got levels to go as well What are you think, thinking of the game and the views? Look at that. Well, the view Jeez. is absolutely incredible. You don't get this back down south. As for the football on the pitch, very impressed actually. Both teams are knocking it about. The gaffer. Fuming. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Brave it is. Uh, it's getting more tubby. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a bit riled up. But um, the surface looks great. The, the boys yeah, it does are look amazing. knocking it about really nicely. So um, it just needs a goal, and I think that's yeah. going to start it. A goal or a red card or something like that. Yeah, just yeah. Violent, just violent. Yeah. Pyro. <laughs> and a pyro. There we go. Too busy chatting as per, but 1 0 Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a shock here. University of Stirling 1 0 up. Oof. By the way. <gasps> oh, you had a reunion beat. He's killed one night yesterday, didn't he? All right, lads, where's this free kick going? My guess is it's going to go over the bar, but not by 
Not by much. A lot. Not by much. Lavers, what are you saying? Um, it's going to be similar to my goalkeeper saves. Oh, OK, um, so it's going to be top corner, but the keeper will just tip it. drop it then, is he? <laughs> oh! No one predicted that. Jesus. I've actually captured a goal as well. For once. Look at that. 2 0 to the University of Stirling. And the Cali Braves bench are not happy. Oh, has it gone in? Has it gone over the line? Line has put its flag up. Oh, it's a goal. 3 0 to the Uni lads. Overcaptured that on time. Barring in. The Lino's given it. Cali Graves bench saying he's miles behind it. Which he was quite far behind, but. He's been going top left. Going top left. To... No, he's going to that. The big gap that the goalie's left. Oh. Oof. Is that a goal, yeah? Oh, it is a goal. Cali Braves has scored. It's got to be less than 10 minutes to go, but 3 1 here. I usually pass by Caledonian Brave Stadium on the way home. So, there it is behind me. That is Alliance Park, the home of Caledonian Braves, the away team we saw today. So I thought, for my outro, why not come here? I'm driving past it anyway, so I may as well. Um, really good game in the end, I thought. Um, the first 30 minutes were really, really boring, actually, in terms of the football, but it really heated up. There were some big tackles and a lot of aggro between the benches and stuff like that, and a few good goals as well. So um, quite a shock to see Sterling Uni win. Um, Caledonian Braves, they would have won, I think, would have gone one point behind the leaders. So they've had a really, really good start to the season, but two big wins for the Uni teams um, this week. Edinburgh Uni beat East Kilbride yesterday, and Sterling Uni have just beaten um, uh, Caledonian Braves. So yeah, two really big results for the Uni teams. How good was it also to um, finally meet Curly and Scott and get them on the video? Um, do check out their video. I'm not sure if theirs will be up by the time that mine is, um, but when it is, I'll share it on my social media, but I will also include a link to their channel in the description box here so you can go and check it out. They did cover loads of cool non-league. Anyway, a massive, massive thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it back in Scotland now. Like I may have mentioned earlier, we've got a couple more videos coming from um, my trip in Germany just recently. And I've got loads more Scottish content coming soon, obviously, as well. But yes, here is Caledonian Braves. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click them on to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.